Hello my loves and welcome to today's video. So today's video, I am in Wisconsin and I don't know. I just, I am in love with today. It has been a great day already and I just love road trips. So I did drive across the border from Illinois into Wisconsin and I made the most like random and spontaneous antique like shop stop ever. <laughs> so I was driving along this highway here that you can kind of see in the distance out there yonder. And I happen to see this lovely, beautiful building that says cheese and antiques. So naturally I had to stop. So this is a very impromptu visit. I have no idea what to expect of this place. I do know that Wisconsin is very well known for its dairy farms and its production of cheese. So I'm expecting to see a lot of cheese in here, but I'm also very anxious to check out the antique shop part of it as well. So I've never been here before, but I'm very excited. It looks like a really good time. Now just to show you guys what it looks like. There you go, you got the sign that says cheese right there. You got the sign that says Rustic Dairyland Antique Mall right there. And then that's what got me on the highway, <laughs> Antique Mall. So you know I had to do it. Now, real quick, shameless plug before I, we head on in there. Um, so if you're new here, my name is Ashley and I both collect and resell vintage goods and antiques. So I'm constantly visiting the flea markets, antique shops, thrift stores, estate sales, auctions, you name it I, on my channel here. So if that kind of stuff piques your interest, then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and follow me along on all of my thrifting and antiquing adventures. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go for real this time. <laughs> the sign cracks me up. Welcome, come in peace and seek out your cheese. And then go in peace, cheese be with you. <laughs> I love it. We definitely are in the land of cheese. Woo, right up front, smile for the camera. Well, little do they know they're on camera as well. Ooh, first look. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You guys. Okay, so it looks like we got a room over there. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on. I don't know, let's, let's go in here, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, it's adorable. Okay. There are... Uh, cheeses, syrups, and stuff galore. <gasps> Milk, chocolate, cranberries, don't mind if I do. Oh, these look so good. I love it. <laughs> it's really good. Holy cheese. There's a lot of cheese. Ooh, free cheese samples, don't mind if I do. I'll try the extra sharp cheddar. Very good. Let's see if I can do it. Woo! Ah! Come in. Okay. <laughs> These are so fun. These little like foam cheeses that you put on your head. <laughs> it's kind of cracked me up. You got a little crown. You got some swords. Go to battle with your little cheese foam there. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. What's this? Oh, it's a really cute cutting board. I guess for 68 it should be. I like it though. So it looks like they have antiques mixed in with the shop. Like we got some depression glass and some collectibles here. Mm, I got some random odds and ends here. Oh, the little baby. She's telling me to shush. Shush yourself. Oh, I love this crock. With the hen and the rooster on it. How much is this? How much? $12.50. It's actually adorable. I love it. Oh, this little honey jar. Cute, cute. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. We got random things over here. No real antiques though. Oh. Ooh, we got a whole like party scene going on in the manger here. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, not only do they have free cheese samples and free milk chocolates but they got free coffee and i love it so um you know what that means i need it Ooh, and they even have these desserts these little tasty treats right here <gasps> oh look at the little heart shapes i love the heart shapes <laughs> so cute but this coffee though all right so from flashing jammin strobin manger we have whoop, this and if we just cross through this doorway here 
There's so many antiques. So this is probably the more antique part and less of the cheesy part. Oh, how unique is this? It's a stirrup with some metal art in there, a little windmill, some brush blowing in the breeze, <laughs> maybe some wheat. Uh, $20. Stirrup art. Made in Dodge City, Kansas. How nice is that? With this old Harley thermometer. $21. That's not a terrible price. What's with this little guy? Will he do a jig? Oh, he's, oh look at him go! <laughs> he's having himself a good old time. How much for a good time? $7. I love these pictures right here. Just very, you know, calm. I love my barns. How many times on this channel can I say that? Ooh, a lightning rod! <gasps> I like me them lightning rods and them blue balls. <laughs> wow, sale price $110. Now this is definitely not the most extravagant one I've ever seen, but still it's pretty cool. I just always get a big kick out of finding lightning rods. Anyways. Hmm. A jar of junk. <laughs> oh, that's advertising at its finest. A jar of junk. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, I see something, but oh, what is this? Oh, I love it. Oh, only three dollars? Oh my gosh, okay, y'all already know it's coming home with me. And it is yellow, just like cheese. Oh, what a perfect souvenir. I don't have this one. It's got a beautiful, like, yellow and white slag effect to it. Oh, now that is nice. I can put some cheese squares in there. <laughs> Kitty, but I definitely love this. Oh, what a perfect souvenir. She's gonna sit there while we look around. Now here's a really interesting piece. I just happen to see like tucked away in the back of this corner. It's really, really pretty. So obviously it's a fan. These were actually used as advertisements for businesses. Back in the day, a lot of times you'll see these and they'll be funeral home advertisements. However, this one's a bit less depressing and morbid and it's for a family shoe store. The more you know. Five dollars is actually a pretty fair price for this, but it's got its issues. It's a little beat up in the corner there, but it's really pretty. I love the colors of this. I kind of really want it, but I kind of don't really need it. <laughs> it's nice though. Okay. Mm, I seriously am loving this place. I really, really do. I got so much stuff. Just everywhere. It's such a good mix, too. Uh, <laughs> as I say that, I'm not really in love with this booth, but let's skedaddle on down here. And salt and pepper shakers. Would anybody care for some corn? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, wow. Holy moly on this lamp. All right, in your head, what do you think they are asking for this darling lamp? It's got a lot of really pretty features about it. Ready for the answer? But um, ninety nine dollars. You know what? That really isn't terrible. It's quite nice. Very elegant. A little paperweight with mushrooms on the inside. No, these are like lilies. Mushrooms would be cool. How much would they like? $29. That's beautiful though. Ugh. That's the last thing I need is another collection. <laughs> so just feet away from that beautiful lamp, we have this awesome thermometer. They have it listed as a Galileo thermometer for $23. Now these are just super fun. I think these are just a really good time. <laughs> I love these and I want one. My cats would like have a field day with that, which is really cool. Definitely cool. I kind of want it, but what would I do with it? Same thing I do with all my things, I guess. Just let it acquire some dust. <laughs> it's a really pretty lamp also. How much for you? $99. Okay, now between this lamp for $99 and that one over there, which one would you go with? They're both very different, but very similar. Anyways, 
Holy moly. Here is a blast from the past for me. This was actually my first like thing that I started collecting when I was like in the fifth grade. I would collect souvenir spoons from wherever I went. <laughs> it was a magical time, but now I don't collect them anymore. All right, I'm in this booth now and look what I spied. More little chick salt cellars and they are Westmoreland. They're priced at about $15 each. This one here is $12.95 because it is as is, which means it has a chip. And I would say that's a fair price for those. I really like this like rainbow slag glass looking toothpick holder dude back there. <sighs> kind of funny. I'm going to pass on those just, you know, I'm hoping to get lucky one day at an auction and find those a bit cheaper. But for collectors, that's around about what they do go for. I don't really know what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Got some pretty cameos and whatnot. Pretty reasonably priced, too. Oh, wow, look at this one. Girl, you fancy. Ooh, she's so fancy, though. All right, moving away from the case of chicks, we have <gasps> more chicks right here, but don't look. She's a little indecent. She's being quite naughty. Anyways, I'm being gross. So there's this beautiful thing here. You guys know I love it. Now... I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who this one is by. They would like $30 for her, and she is in beautiful condition, and I don't have this pretty blue color. And, oh God, I feel like a failure, I really do, but I don't know who makes her. I'm gonna edit that in right here. I'm gonna get her, you can tell she's not a reproduction, just because of like how clean the mold seam is and the quality of the glass. The reproduction is just, you really don't see that. And unfortunately, she's just not marked, but I do love her. She's just got a tiny little like flat spot on the tip of her tail, but we won't hold it against her. We'll get her. Oh, she's so delightful. I love her. <laughs> I really do love this entire place. They got so many fun things. This ball is really pretty. $36.95. Okay, so we have successfully walked through the door. We went through there with all the cheeses and the, the foods. And then we went over here and then we looped all the way around. And now we're back. I'm making you guys nauseous. And now we're going this way. <laughs> so they went upstairs. That's where we're going. So let's go. You guys know I had to do it. I had to find a mirror and we have a fork in the road. We can go up this way or we can go up this way. I don't know why, but we're going to go up this way. So let's do that. And we now we're upstairs. <laughs> so they have a lot of army memorabilia here. Ooh, this old ammo box. Wow. $22.50 for this. That is something really cool. These old hats. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, here's the view of the place. They really like this mall, actually. Mm hmm. All right, I am already completely loving the upstairs level. There is so much to see. I'm going to try not to make you guys seasick, but it looks like it goes all the way around. Probably in a square, I'm assuming. Wee! That way. The downstairs. We're going to start this way. And check out this booth here. We're sneaking peeks through the two brides right there. And I did happen to find this adorable baby quilt. So cute. Look at the little fawn on there talking to her friends. What a good time. They only want 20 for this and it's in a really pretty condition. There's no like rips or anything gross about it. But we're gonna have some self-control just this once. I just found a dealer with 50% off. How often does that happen without the prices being totally gouged? Like Ooh, and I really like what they have. They got a lot. Some all rulers, you know, if you're having a little fun there. Just kidding, I'm terrible. Uh, I feel like I just got to watch where I walk in this place. Oh, this is adorable. I love pixies and little elves and little dudes. 
How much is he? <gasps> Pixie Elf Dude on Leaf Dish. $8, so he's only $4. Let's see, does he have any boo-boos? Oh, he's got a tiny one. But for $4, it's not terrible. Unmarked. I really like him. Mm-hmm. Some old photos. Let's see. Oh, they have them. Okay, they have them labeled. 20 photos, most military, six dollars from. So it's kind of like a surprise pack of photos. That's really interesting. I do really like military stuff. I don't talk about it a lot on my channel, but I find it quite fascinating. These are really fun. Aww. Look at that family, just having a good old time. <laughs> I'm having a good old time. Oh, he looks like he's having a really good time. Can you see that smile? He's quite handsome, if I do say so myself. Nice. This old medicine cabinet. A lot of cool things. Oh, I love this. Very industrial looking light. What? 68 bucks? Well, dang. That is really cool, though. It's got a kind of industrial and steampunk vibe to it. I like it a lot. <gasps> Ooh! Okay, alright. Ooh, let me see. Ooh, who is this hiding back here? We have a rabbit. Where can I put it? Okay. Ooh, Ooh guys, check it out! Okay, this is amazing! So, they have it labeled as a blue rabbit covered dish. They don't know anything about it. Now, because it's not marked, I'm not going to just say what I think it is. I will edit that in. But 50% off, he's only going to be about $10. So, this is definitely coming home with me. Let's talk about these, though. Jeez. Mason jars full of old costume jewelry. Now, I would love to buy one of these one day and just like unbox a bunch of old jewelry. I should. I should. Instead of just talking about it. One of these days. Great Sculpt Discoveries. Oh, wow, that is cool. <laughs> I like this. Ooh, this old circus poster. Look at that clown. Please take off your shoes. That's me in my house, by the way. I am just a strict, like, no shoes in the house kind of person. Like, I'm weird like that. But anyways, I'm going to go put this up front, and we'll be right back. And we're back. And I see something else that I just can't live without. Do you guys spy what I spy? <laughs> I'm so repetitive, but it's this adorable little chicken, like, trinket box. And it's only two bucks. If you open it, let's check this out. Are you ready for it, folks? Ah, it's got a little baby in there. How cute. And it's so tiny. I don't know how this hasn't got lost over the years. Aw, look at that. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about this other than I love it, so I'm going to get it. <laughs> I just want like a dollar for every time I say that. And yeah. What do we have in here? Oh, this is really pretty. $14. For the most part, this place is pretty reasonable, price-wise. Now here's a booth for the ladies. A lot of Pyrex and beautiful kitchenware. A really impressive variety, in all honesty. Like, they got the primary colors. They got just all the different, ooh, I love them, patterns and stuff. Now down here, they got some pretty, they got the snowflake, they got the garland. Uh, I just, I am in Pyrex heaven. <laughs> I can't lie, over here in this corner, I spied this macrame wall hanging. And it's not an owl, I'm on a big, huge macrame owl kick right now. But I'm not going to turn down too much vintage macrame, and it is a stunner. It's a plant hanger. For only $15, I know the tag is a bit shaky there, but that is so fun. I like that. Now, just to give you guys an idea, like, just how big this piece is, look at it. Like, if I was to hold it down here, it comes up to, like, here on me. But it's so cute! <laughs> I love this. You guys, I really do. 
I love how it even says like it comes with the plant. Macrame plant holder with a plant. Super lucky day. I can even wear it like as a necklace, but I didn't want to ruin my hair. Anyways, I'm getting really slap happy. So I'm gonna go put this downstairs as well because um, I'm having some luck here. <laughs> now here's a beautiful piece. Look at this wood carved children's rocking horse. I don't know if you'd actually put a child on it. It looks a little tiny, but I don't know, maybe you could have. Now they are asking 185. This booth is having a 20% off sale. And honestly, I just haven't seen one like this too many times in my life. It's hand carved and hand painted and it's got the tail. Look at that though. The details in the mane and even the face. That is really fun. It's even got the little wheels. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> All right, here's me living my best life. Crouched on the floor in a random corner of an antique store, trying on an old JFK campaign hat. Does it look amazing? Uh, there's no mirror. Oh, there is a mirror. Let's go look. <laughs> I gotta see this on myself. The moment of truth. Ooh, girl. I have never looked better. Quite delightful. Now I love the dealer names in here. Here we have dealer number H. And it's just quite nice. <laughs> We're scoping it out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta put you on. I gotta pick him up. He looks old too. Ooh, you know, I like my old guys. <laughs> All right, so I took the tape off so I could look inside and he's not marked. Now, I kind of am a little excited because he's not marked on the inside anywhere. He is really, really beat up. And let me show you guys, like he is messed up. Like he's got all kinds of damage. I mean, he is damaged goods, but here on this channel, we don't fault people for that because that's what I am, jokes. But you know what? I'm getting my hopes up thinking, well, hello there, that he's, um, Possible Shallon or Taylor? I don't know. I'm pretty excited. I feel like the like chicken and hen rescue because he's really just all sorts of messed up. But he's only $22, so I can't pass him up. Naturally. Logic. It doesn't exist with me. Anyway, so I'm gonna get that. And really quick, while we're in this glamorous booth, there are so many beer bottles on the wall. I feel like this is the booth that that song is about. Kind of like, you know, you know the one. I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> yeah, just beer bottles and stuff galore. And then we can creep on the people because that's where we came in. <laughs> the entrance is like right there. <gasps> we're being creepy, aren't we? Let's see how fast we can zoom in. Oh, we're lurking. We're lurking. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> oh, I actually do really like this. I like it a lot. All right, who's being noisy? What, what are we doing down there? <laughs> okay, we officially made it to the end of the road, so to speak. So we completely looped around the entire upstairs and the entrance to the place is actually like right there, like right down there. Anyways, um, so I'm in this booth and I couldn't help but notice, making you guys sick, this up here. Oh, <laughs> you guys know I love my hand painted barns. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this beauty. What the heck? Why would you do that to me? $50? Oh, I so want this. But it's 30% off. So, hmm, I don't know. That's still a bit much for just a hand-painted bottle. But I love the colors on it. I'm going to have to think about it. Mm. I love this. I love it. 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 Oh, lordy. <laughs> What a haul. <laughs> this is all mine. <laughs> oh, I have problems, don't I? Woo! All right, just left. I got two boxes and a bag full of things. That place was amazing. Definitely one of probably my favorite like random stops I've taken in a very long time. And the staff there, I gotta give them credit. They were so friendly. You never know what you're really walking into. So A plus place. I really enjoyed myself today, so. I don't know, now I gotta load these bad boys up in the car, and it's just so pretty out. Like, it really is kind of having my own moment here. <laughs> and on that note, I'm gonna go. 
I hope you guys enjoyed touring along with me today. Now, if you can, do me one super huge favor. If you enjoyed this video at all, please be sure to hit that big, beautiful thumbs up button down below. Talk to me, talk to each other down in the comment section. Also, absolutely love hearing with you guys, talking with you guys, and just, you all make my day, so. On that note, I will see you guys in the next upload super soon. Love you guys so much, and bye. <laughs>